either fighting this bot lane and saying, you know what, we'll just choose to go even in terms of matchup and have safety in terms of Devour. Mm -hmm. But I still think the Karma has such a strong support. This stop, this is both all fast. Oh, no. oh, the base check. There's the pulverized death doing a lot of damage. Two more bullets in the chamber. We'll get the crit, but it's a good exhaust. The flash out the heals there. Still a good laning start, actually, because the enemy AD carry is put low. Mako and Death need to invest in to push really hard here. Let's see. Gonna use double execute. Get the minion push. This is a big mistake by Vander. Oh, my God. Death. The auto attack grenade, and that's going to be first blood. And Mako in. Because he had the pressure in the mid lane here. Uh, we'll just snowball that in the bot lane depth. Good oh, man, true. Uh, here, there's the exhaust. Yankos just got a flash on him. Good pulverize from Mako, but he's still gonna die. There's the Q. Yankos grabs another, and that is gonna be the double kill for Forgiven. Welcome back to the lane. Yeah, right now, they have to think quick. Well, in goes Mouse. Does get the stun with the equilibrium strike as Yankos comes in. There's the kick underneath the turret. He gets out onto Yankos. Look, can they turn it? Scout grabs the kill. Odoamne is still looking for more, but can't get anything. Just the absurd damage because almost everything went kind of lopsided for EDG. The fact that Scout gets kicked underneath the tower, excuse me, Mouse gets kicked underneath the tower, Scout misses his stun, but Oh, no on. one, there's the flash, the stun comes in! Mouse picks up a kill! Oh, in the bottom lane, the action does not stop as Forgiven's getting hit by the curtain call. He's trying to get out, all the bullets are landing, Vanda has the shield! ...games to Scout's 32, so he's very comfortable in this lane, and as I say that, they're actually setting up for a dive. Yeah, trying to find something Forgiven, still underneath his turret as they're setting up. Mouse flashes out of the way of the Q from Yankos. Forgiven's gonna go down. Mouse survives. It's disaster for H2K. Take him down. Scrap Shield's good. And Yankos can still just stay here. Nice dodge on the Q. As Mouse has cleared out the minions. Can he actually take down Ryu? Oh my, he's got the pull. Everything's fine. But H2K need three to take down Mouse. He needs three. That means we are right now contesting some vision. In the trouble. There's the flash. Yankos is gonna find his way in. Clear Love is most certainly dead. EDG can't find anything off the back end. We'll see what H2K can do. Contesting vision or oh, Ryu here as well, so it has meant that Scout was able to catch back oh. up. Oh. There's Mouse face checks. And is going to pop. Does, you know, survive for longer than we thought, but that's Ryu grabbing a kill. Well, sound over your jungle. Ability. So, in an ideal world, Death likes to be mid, but Scout also likes to be mid here. Well, in goes Mouse one more time. I've seen this one before. We'll see whether Oduwamne is going to bring it to the same end. Clear Love's going to clean it up. <laughs> And EDG lose a lot of health bars, but do end up securing the kill. Shoe on the other foot for Mouse right now. That must feel good, teaming up with Getting his jungle. side lane farm. Although, we do have some setup on the bottom side of the map. Mouse. Odoamne is going to get equilibrium struck, but There's in Ryu. goes Ryu. He's going to get the slowdown onto Mouse. Hemoplake doing some work. Yankos is going to come in as well. Clear love is down here. Mouse is still alive. Good primal surge for that one. And Scout's going to make his way in. Yankos gets speared up to clear love. Good bullets and Mako grabs it with the ignite. Ryu still just causing a ruckus here in the back line, but good stun from Scout. Massive pulverized Ryu just still can't do enough damage, and it's a double kill for Mouse. And this is the LPL that I expect to see right there. And it bought enough time for the team to follow up, and then Vander's passing was very questionable. EG right now turning to Baron here, and this is the window they were looking for. They took it slow and steady and forced the mistake out of HK. Well, here in goes the true shot barrage. Not gonna be enough. That would have been the dream. Oh, no. The face check from Vander early on. Accessing the laning advantage from HK, but that is too long gone. People look at how clean EDG close right now. They are certainly looking to close pretty cleanly at the moment as the inhibitor turret falls on the top side. Mouse could still be in trouble as Odoamne oh, just gets searched on. Yankos gets stunned. Mouse going for the 1v2. Now just looking for the inhibitor as Ryu's turning up. Getting over the side with the blade surge, but he's just buying time for his team. Nexus turret number one. I understand that this is kind of the final stand, the 300 moment. You see Ryu looking for the flank. He's going to get possibly onto depth here as well as the equalizer does come down. Lots of damage onto Scout. Good Hemo plague as Ryu's got singled out. Still has the pull, remember, as Vanda looking to cause some trouble. Yankos very low as Ryu against the world. In the back line, good headbutt from Mako as Clearlock exhausted, but Primal Stone spear lands in the back of the vampire's head and Mouse going nuts in the back line. Forgiven's gonna die on a one man trouble as Death grabs the last auto attack. And EDG will take down this inhibitor and possibly take down the game. And this is why Mouse has the confidence to say, okay, the Aurelia pick didn't work the first time, let's go again. That is incredible. EDG, their first truly decisive victory here at World 2016 against H2K. And they can definitely be happy right now. They tie for first place in the group, two in one, and with a game that tells us that they should not be dropping more games in the future here. They should be able to beat every single team that is left in this group.
They've lost against INTZ, but they've beaten both H2K and HQ, who look stronger. Yeah. EDG right now looking at, again, top favorites for that number one seed. And right now, these tied teams, AHQ and EDG for first place in Group C, both showed very controlled games. AHQ didn't look towards the Baron until the very end, ran a very similar composition, being very poke-heavy. Now EDG come out, follow their LPL brethren, as they've seen on Worlds, and look for a very controlled, slow